so excited for this video today. Normally at church, when we go upstairs to Zach's Treehouse, we start out the day with some silly games to get us going. Well, today I have two really fun games that are hosted by two really cool people that I think you'll enjoy seeing. Adults, these are for you too, so you can join in. Teenagers, college students, everyone is welcome to join us. So here we go, hope you have fun. What is going on guys? I hope you all are having a great week. Um, we are here today to have some fun and we have a really fun game for you all. So what you're gonna need is a candy that uh, some people love and some people hate. So, what you're going to need is two peeps, two toothpicks, and a plate. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put the toothpick in the front of the peep, and you're going to do this for both peeps, and if you don't have peeps, you can use big marshmallows. So, once you have the joust or the sword or even a lightsaber if you're going to get that fancy with it you are going to put it in the microwave and set the timer for 45 seconds so the peeps are going to start to melt and the first toothpick to touch the other peep like if it goes like that then set this peep would win because it touched the other peep first once the peep touch once the toothpick touches the other peep please stop the microwave because uh, that would just create a big mess. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so as you guys can see here, Sergeant Peeps a lot is touching Sergeant Sprinkles. So, uh, Sergeant Peeps a lot is the winner of this jousting bag. So, that is the one of the egg throwdown games. I hope you all have a phenomenal Easter and a great day and a good week. Bye guys. Hi everyone, it's Bailey. Today I'm gonna to tell you your second Easter egg game. It's called Easter Egg Throwdown. All you need is a laundry basket, a few pairs of socks, so how to play is you're gonna have two players and one scorekeeper. You're gonna dump all the socks out at the other end of the room and you're gonna have a, a laundry basket on the side that you're on. You're gonna run to the other side of the room and try to pair the socks. You're gonna put them into a ball like this. If you wanna get creative, you can pretend they're Easter eggs or the stone that Jesus rolled away on Easter. Then you're gonna throw it to the other end of the room and make it into the laundry basket. If you don't make it into the laundry basket, run over really quickly and try to put the egg in the basket. Now I'm gonna show you a clip on how to play this fun game. The timer is about to go up on your screen. Ready, set, go!
I think I might be Lucas when we play this game. Happy Easter. I hope you guys had fun with those games. Lucas and Bailey were a really good game host. Well, Easter isn't about just Easter eggs and chocolate bunnies. Although they're really fun, what we should be focused on is the story of Jesus on the cross. It's such a powerful story, but it's really simple. It's so simple that the video clip we're about to watch tells the story of Jesus with laundry. In the beginning, God created everything. He formed people in his very own image. But then, we turned away from God. Sin entered the world, like a dark stain. Still, God loved us so deeply that he made a plan to rescue us. At just the right moment, God sent his very own son, Jesus, to live among us. Jesus healed hearts and minds and bodies. Thousands gathered to hear him teach. Instead of giving lots of new rules, Jesus turned things upside down by making it simple. Love God, love others. After three years of traveling and teaching, Jesus and his disciples entered Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. Huge crowds gathered to welcome him. But while the crowds cheered for Jesus, the religious leaders made plans to arrest him. He was turning their world upside down, and they wanted him gone. As Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his friends, he told them that he would be leaving, but would return. His friends didn't understand. That night, one of Jesus' followers, Judas, led soldiers to arrest him. The religious leaders gave Jesus a fake trial and then sent him to Pilate, the Roman governor, who could have him killed. Pilate found Jesus had broken no law and tried to release him. But a mob called for Jesus to be killed. Pilate gave in and handed Jesus over to the Roman soldiers. Jesus was forced to carry the heavy beams of his own wooden cross. On a hill called Golgotha, the soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the rough wood. The soldiers and people who passed by laughed and mocked him. But from the cross, Jesus asked God to forgive them. Finally, Jesus called out, it is finished. Then he died. The earth shook. Rocks split open. Even the soldiers cried, surely he was the son of God. One of Jesus' followers took his body and placed it in a tomb cut from the rock. A huge stone blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends were devastated. They had believed that Jesus was the one God promised, the one who would rescue them, but now he was gone. Their whole world had turned upside down. Jesus' friends stayed hidden in fear for three days. But early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, a close friend of Jesus, hurried to the tomb. She planned to anoint Jesus' body with special spices. As Mary neared the tomb, she saw the stone had been rolled away. The tomb was empty. Mary turned to see a man standing near. She didn't recognize him until he said, Mary, it was Jesus, alive. Jesus told her, do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, go to those who believe in me. Jesus, God's son, became like us to lay down his life. Through God's power, he defeated death for all of us, and sin was washed away. One day, he's promised to return, so we can live with him forever. Man, that 
that story is amazing. Every year at Easter time, it can be so overwhelming just to think about how much God loves us. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins so that anyone that believes in him won't die or perish, but will have everlasting life in heaven with God forever. That's pretty awesome. Another way that we can look at it too is that Jesus is greater than anything that can go wrong in our life. We can think about it like this. I can because Jesus is alive. I can love better because Jesus is alive. I can be brave because Jesus is alive. And I can have hope because Jesus is alive. I'm going to put some questions on the screen for you and your family to discuss. And we'll get back together here in just a minute. I hope you all had a great family conversation. Sometimes when we talk about how God has helped us in the past, it helps us to trust Him more with what's going on in our life right now. And that's really important. I hope that you spend the rest of your day making happy memories on a happy Easter. Now, one last thing. When this video is over, I want you to take a family Easter photo. It can be in your Easter outfits, it can be in your PJs, whatever. You can post it on our Sycamore Tree Facebook page or send it in a text to a few of your friends. Either way, we wanna know that you're having a great day. And finally, maybe now more than ever, we need to remember God's faithfulness and the hope that he gave us through Jesus because that's what makes Easter really happy. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you really soon. Bye. The greatest day in history Death is beating you have rescued me Sing it out, Jesus is alive Celebrate Jesus is alive